What's up, Scrollsers? It's Nerf here, and we are back with the Scrolls Casual League. And today I'm playing Punisher. So, trying out some new decks. I want to break it up a little bit. And now I'm going with Poison Decay. Never a uh, deck variant that I was too into in my, you know, Scrolls heyday. I, always felt, I was always more of an aggressive, straight up kind of deck than the control decks. So I'm having more fun with those control decks now. So, I'm trying it out. He's playing Growth. I feel like that's should be a fine matchup for this deck. I haven't tried it yet to play against Growth. Um, the question is, do I keep the starting hand? I think I do. I go 1, 2, 3, 4, yeah. I think I gotta. Um... Gonna get rid of the early cluster hex. It's already on turn five. I'm gonna play the infected gravelock. I'm not sure if I should keep this card in this deck. The fact that it has moved zero, it's not too strong. Um, it's dead to a quake from growth two, but it's poisonous, so it's probably gonna have good value if it poisoned once. Poison's one thing. Okay, it's looking like probably not an aggro deck for uh, Punisher. I don't think an aggro deck would be running Sister the Fox, so that concerns me a little bit. Definitely more afraid of late game growth at this point. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of one of the infected husks. Alright. Let me see if I can find these standings for this league. Let's see. These standings. Punisher is three and one against his opponents, so facing a tough opponent here. Samada shift. Okay, this is that kind of deck. I can go Soul Steel now. Do I really get rid of a Languid? I think I do. Well, was just talking about a game I just played against him, just a challenge match with this deck. I guess I'll kill the thing that has two health instead of one. Don't love it, but whatever. Okay, if we're gonna be able to stay keeping pace with late game growth, I'm gonna need to draw my Halls of all Mosses, my, my uh, Oblivion Seekers, I need to draw cards and survive. Okay. So, Infectious Blight. It's nice to put on something, but not when he only has one unit out, and that's a Sister of the Fox. You could just like have a Quake in hand, just be waiting to use it. We'll see what he does. Nognest. And a ranger. Ranger's Bane. That's a twist. I guess some removal for uh some removal for, for growth. Okay. Ashen Vapors is pretty good at getting rid of poison, but I'd rather keep the four drops. I'm gonna put the blight bearer in front just so this survives from a veteran hit. And I move the infected husk up so I can attack one of these things. So now, what's he going to play? Great Wolf? Probably not a Quake. I don't think it's a good time for a Quake because I'd destroy this. He should be trying to get like a Fertile Soil out or something. But I guess he doesn't have that in his hand. Would like to top deck like an Oblivion Seeker maybe, but I don't really want to sacrifice the Infectious Blight anyways. Berserker. Interesting. Don't see that guy very often. I like, I like this deck he's playing. Baleful Witch is going to be sacrificed, seeing as I have no, you know, curse in my hand to play with it. There's the curse, but <laughs> oh well. Okay. 
Unfortunately, if I play the in the Berserker is a perfect counter to poison. Because the regeneration means it will the poison will not do anything to it. So I'm not gonna play the infect display. At least I can play a pack husk this turn. Pack husk this turn. Let's move up there. I'll I'll just play the pack husk in front, maybe? Put it in front of this guy. I don't want this guy to die to a uh, veteran because I wanted to get, get an attack off. Okay, not really sure what this uh, infected Ravelock has been doing, but whatever. <laughs> okay, I'm going to have to figure out a way to take this guy out. Considering... Well, the poison will hit him, I think, before the regeneration, so I do get to get one like, you know, dose of poison on him. It's just, as this dude in one shot, though, he needs to, like, really curse him. Okay. If I only had a soul steal right now, that would be great. But I don't. So... I'm going to go with the Oblivion Seeker. Soul steal would be so great. Um, do I get rid of... Do I get rid of the Infectious Blight? I don't see that doing much right now. With this, uh, no, I'll keep it, because I might want to get rid of the other better next turn. Don't want him to get a 4 attack on this guy to get the easy 100% kill. So I'll do that. And... I'll let him just attack that idol if he wants. But at least this way he can't attack any of my units besides the infected Ravelock, which I assume he's going to kill because uh, because the Berserker has regeneration. And a Burden Remnant. It's going to be hard for me to take out that structure of a tree. Because maybe this wasn't the best deck for me to go against. <laughs> Um, because he's going to be able to, it's just that Berserker that's just the perfect counter to poison. Okay, now I wish I kept that Cluster Hex, he's kind of in a, in a big, big formation there. I'm going to play the Blight this turn though. Cursed Presence. Yeah, Cursed Presence, Baleful Witch would be nice. I'm just going to play the Blight, get rid of a resource from him, move down, don't go on the Berserker, okay. So the poison damage does go through. I think the damage happens first and then the healing happens. So that's good to know. So if I can top deck another Infectious Blight or a brain lace next turn. I could play it in tandem with a cursed presence to take out the berserker. Very interesting. I wonder if he runs quakes or not. Say, so wish I had a damn curse for that uh, berserker, but I don't run damn curse because there's a plethora of poison and remo removal in this deck that I don't think that was necessary. But I have all my creatures attacking next turn. And he's probably not going to be able to kill more than one of them. If he does even kill one. So that should be good. They're not particularly lined up to where he's standing though. Okay, so I can take that out. Seed of Insurgency. Yikes. Um... Infectious Blight. So this takes one point. Playbird takes one poison damage before attacking. So if I play the Ashen Vapors, the the Blight Bear would die. It would poison this, and then 
I can kill it with the ashen vapor with and then I can kill it with the cursed presence but I have to play the ashen vapors too okay I think that's what I have to do okay so let's languid this I just I just play all three of these cards I think okay top deck something I don't want to play ah rain lice now what do I want to do um because now I can just that's a tough choice now. Because I can just. Because Brain Lace Curse Presence would just kill this outright. But then I want to play the, the Ash and Vapors too. Screw it. I'm, I'm doing the play I originally said I was going to do. Oh boy, that was close. Okay, I think this is gonna die. If it doesn't die, I'm very stupid. Die. Okay, cool, it died. I mean, obviously it came back to life, but <laughs> it needed to die. That was a weird turn by me. I'm not sure if that was the best play, but it did, it did something. I don't think it was the worst play. The problem is that the uh, Poison is going to go away on this guy next turn. But the Infectious Blight still stays. It needs to die from Poison though, so that's not good. He had a he had a Fertile Soil anyway, so the Infectious Blight was going away regardless. Okay, I'm going to lower the attack of the Berserk. No, this guy. Um, let's play with Pack Husk. Okay. I'm just gonna protect this guy because I don't want um, a veteran to just kill it before it attacks. And now that has only three health because of the poison there. If I didn't play the language at first, I could have played Cluster Hex. No, that wouldn't do anything extra. I have a Halls of Om Lhasa I can play, which I think I should. I need to be able to ramp. It's fun playing a new deck. Even though it might not be the strongest. I like seeing cards that I haven't seen in a while that he's playing. Like, uh, both the, I don't see Breaker a lot. I don't see Berserker a lot. I don't see uh, a couple others. So I can go with the Cluster Hex, which will supplement this guy's attack. Another Berserker. That's not what I want to see. Hmm. Do I keep the Cluster Hex? I think I... I think I do. I think I have to play it actually. Pack Husk is nice, but I'm gonna get rid of it. Yeah, okay, so Cluster Hex now, maybe Baleful Witch next turn. Cluster Hex here. At least that destroys that. I'll protect my guy that's about to attack. Okay, so the Baleful Witch will deal 2 damage to that, 3 damage to the Berserker, and 3 damage to that, that Berserker. No, only 2 damage. The Baleful Witch doesn't deal damage, and then on top of the curse it doesn't do more damage. It just, it just does the damage equal to the curse. So, I want to top deck another, another thing, you know, a... Um, I don't really know why he played on that. Oh, I guess that's why. Okay, so that's going to die in two turns because of the... Or maybe immediately. Okay, so how do I make it poison deal four damage? So this is... It's going to deal two damage already. 
And this has it's gonna deal two damage because of the Ashen Vapors, and then we'll deal two more because of the curse, right? Okay, so I think if I play Infectious Blight on this, it's gonna die. I hope. So I think I'm gonna play Infectious Blight. I don't really I shouldn't have my asthma wells in this deck. <laughs> they're not gonna they're not gonna do anything. Okay, so. Festering Freak, Infectious Blade. I could play the Baleful Witch to deal 2 damage, 2 damage, but I don't think I need to do that. Okay. Infectious Blight. So now it's, it has Poison. It's going to deal 2 damage from the Poison, and then it has Curse 2. Please kill that. The regeneration kind of has me bugged. Die. Oh no, it survived. If somebody could leave in the comments below why that didn't die. Because <laughs> it had curse too. So it had two damage, and then four. It should have taken four damage. That's not what I expected. Annoying. Well, at least now it will die to a uh, Baleful Witch. However, I lose both Blights, which is really not what I wanted. I can go with a um, Necrogeddon. Necrogeddon thing, too. Necrogeddon. Gravelock. I'm afraid because he's going to play big creatures that are going to be hard to take down. And God Hands could be coming. Who's watching me? Franconi, maybe? Yep. I was just about to play him for a few matches. But got to get through these tournament matches. I wonder why that guy didn't die. I really need a brain lice now or another infected blight because I don't want to lose this infectious blight stuff. Hmm. I sh what do I keep here? I want to keep the grave lock because of the necro getting. I think I go with the necro getting here. At least I can kill the this Berserker, and I can kill the Kinfolk Veteran. Yeah, I'm going to do that. It's, I'm going to get rid of the Baleful Witch, too. Alright, not the most valuable Necrogeddon, but at least it kills some stuff. Okay, so I really would like to draw Soul Steel. Or... Or some kind of poison. Hmm. Let's see if Franconi's watching and he has he knows what to say. Soul Steel. Don't think I have an opportunity to get the Halls of Bone Loss off. I'm going to go ahead and Soul Steel Oblivion Seeker. Then I lose the Blights. Sure. You know, he's just going to take things out, and I'm not going to be able to slow his poison down enough, so I'm just going to surrender. Okay, going to game two. So the trying out the new deck did not work out. <laughs> and now let's go with a, uh, a deck that 
has a better chance of winning. And that's going to be late game growth. Where is late game growth? If I can find it. I can't even see my own decks. There, oh, it's because I have the uh, I had a Band of Reason combo in it. Yeah, I kind of was against a Poison Counter, which is pretty unfortunate for me. Do I keep the starting hand with the turn two Nog Nest? Um, I'm gonna mulligan. I'm I probably shouldn't have mulliganed, but whatever. <laughs> I wanted to see if I could get a turn three play. I think turn three is very important when you're the person who's going uh going first. Because turn two, you sometimes you just get a unit out anyways. Like before that they would have a unit. Okay, we're gonna get growth versus growth. I guess he's playing the same deck. I it's not great losing two god hands in the early game, but when you top deck them the first two rounds, I think you can safely discard them. Okay, vengeful better. Skythorn time. I'll just play right in the front because if he attacks it with the Vengeful Better, I'm perfectly fine with uh, it losing one one health, one less growth for it to pillage, and then it, then it's in Ragged Wolf range too. Next turn, I'm probably just playing the Rat King though. Helps the uh, Skythorn count down, get me more scrolls. Okay. Stone Recluse. Rallying is nice, but I like my other cards more. No rallying combos well with the Skythorn though. Uh, but do I really get rid of anything else in my hand? I don't think I can. The rest of my hand is too good. I'll get rid of the, the rallying. Hmm, do I, how do I position now? Do I make it so he can't get growth? I think I do, I kind of like that. Yeah, no growth for you. I could have moved that up and then moved these back. Okay, this looks like a more aggro deck, which is interesting. Kinfolk Veteran is nice. That means I'm going to get rid of the, the Ragged Wolf. I'd rather keep the Vet. Although the Great the Ragged Wolf is really good, but I think I'd rather have the Great Wolf to play next turn. So I'm obviously playing this in here, and do I move this up so I can track you down in case you try to run away? I'll play the veteran, and do I move the beast right in the middle row or not? Or stay here and look at you? I think I'm just going to stay here in case you move down. Okay. I kind of like my position right now. Next turn, I can just go with the Great Wolf. I'd like to get, you know, maybe Fertile Soil, maybe another Rack. Maybe I shouldn't have got rid of the Racket Wolf because that's what I need to combine with this Beast Rat to take out this Ventral Better. Whatever, though. So, yeah, the End of Reason combo is with No ID, which I added to my late game growth deck. I think it was missing that combo. It's a little too strong to leave out. Pretty gimmicky combo though, I don't love playing it. It's kind of cool though. So I'm going to probably sacrifice and reason for cards. Okay, plays a veteran on that, I mean. I'm fine with that. Use your veteran on beast rat. I mean he did it because he wants to get this guy up to two attack next turn and this guy up to three attack with the pillage effect on the well and ranger obviously. So it's not, it's not a play that doesn't do that much, but it's not too bad. 
Um, I'm probably going to keep the under reason because I'm just not going to play the brute this turn, I don't think. I'll keep him in hand just in case I top deck a ragged wolf. I'm going to want to keep it. Yeah, but I, if I top deck like a Noidy. I'm just going to get rid of the end of reason. Okay. So I'm just going to play the Great Wolf and next turn I can Manji Wolf. Um, so obviously I'll just, just deal one damage there. Then I think I'll just place the Great Wolf up here maybe? Because I want to be able to attack these guys next. Eh. Yeah, I'm going to place it up here so I can destroy the... Uh, Destroy the veteran next turn. Um, should I piss a girl here or here? I think up there is fine. I kind of like that. Actually, no, that was stupid. Because... If he if he moved it up and hits the idol, he dies anyways. And if he attacks this, then the great wolf was the great wolf was already in the range to move up to kill it. If I didn't have it in this round, that was a straight up misplay. The great wolf should be on this tile, not this tile. I overthought it, and hopefully it doesn't come back to bite me. I discovered a bug. Are you talking about the po is he talking about the poison thing from last? Okay, well that's gonna die. See now, okay, well it's not a huge deal anyways because the same play I would have made is gonna work out in that I'm just gonna be able to kill the Wetland Ranger with a Minji Wolf anyways. So it's not a huge deal that that happened. Um, I'll get rid of the Nog Nest now. So I want to keep obviously keeping both Minji Wolves for back to back turns of playing them. I think I'd rather have the Brood out there than Nog Nest. So play the brute first, obviously. I'm gonna put the beast rat in the front. You know what, this is going to kill something regardless. How do I want to position here? I mean, he's going to kill something either way, and I want this Mage Wolf down here so he can attack the Ancestral Totem. Yeah. I mean, I guess I'd rather him kill the uh, the not 4 four health thing with his 4 attack unit. So I'll just position like that. I do like my positioning right now. Or not, or just my position in this game. Magi Wolf's gonna make both wolves attack next turn. Well, probably not this wolf. He's I think he's gonna kill it. Okay. Rat King is nice because it will make this guy attack. Hmm. I think I'd rather that than the Magi Wolf right now. As much as it hurts to sacrifice the Magi Wolf, the Rat King would be a little better bees than I can, eh, but the brute, the brute's going to attack next turn anyways then, because if I play the Magi Wolf this turn, I mean, the brute's probably going to attack next turn, okay. and there's a better chance that I can get the uh, the Great Wolf to attack two straight turns in the brute, so I'm actually going to get rid of the Rat King, maybe the wrong play, Skythorn, and Mangy Wolf. So I am going to play the Mangy Wolf. Do I play Skythorn or the Brave? I think I play Skythorn. I like the uh, I like the card draw. Because I think I can just outlast him with better card draw. 
So, he needs to top deck some things here to get rid of that brute. That's impending attacking. So let's see what Franconi has to say. The Berserker was at four health and healed one. Then, so it, so it heals first. First it heals and removes, then it takes. Weird Berserker. I think he changed decks though. I think that last deck was more of a perfect poison counter. <laughs> And then he uh, switched to this one. This one's a little more aggressive. Seems more like straight up. So a rally would be nice. A mangy wolf would be nice. Just because I want the great wolf to attack again. Probably not going to draw another mangy wolf considering I've drawn two already. Um, I think I don't tempt fate. And I just I just play the Garl. Might as well, right? Yeah, screw it. The more big things out there, the harder it is gonna be for him to uh, take me down. So I just kill the thing with, that's going to attack, which is the Brave. And I have six attack impending for next turn. We're out of cards, though. But he's he's been drawing pretty slim as well. Bit of an audience here. Druid Burial Ground. Man, Punisher likes his uh, healing. He likes his regeneration stuff. Um, darn, I wish I had something to Fertile Soil. I could Fertile Soil this Mangy Wolf. <laughs> then this would go down to three attack. I don't think I can do that. I'm not sure as hell not Fertile Soil on either of these guys. Darn, I wish I had something to Fertile Soil. Okay, so... That's seven. I need to come up with seven damage if I play the veteran this row doesn't get destroyed I would kill the stone recluse though I think I want to kill the stone recluse it's always good just to destroy the things that are about to attack Yeah, I'd rather just destroy the thing. It's not like he has a god hand or anything, so I don't have to worry about everything attacking with massive attack anyways. Okay, and then this is in frost scale range, which is something. And if he attacks the Skythorn with the Brave, it would also go in Skythorn range. And I don't think there's going to be a way for him to destroy this uh, Kinfolk Jarl here. So I'm going to get a big attack from him coming in. It was the Brave up. and yeah, that doesn't really concern me now. The Brave's out of the way. Okay. So this Yarrow's going to kind of have a wasted attack because I kept him behind. Maybe I shouldn't have kept him behind. Probably was a stupid move there. Let's get a Rallying. Frost Scale. No ID. Frost Scale is interesting. It would lower his attack, but it also it would also hurt me. I'm just gonna play the Great Wolf, I think, because the Frost Scale would allow him to still kill this, and then he would. It doesn't really change that much, I think, right now. So I'm just gonna play the the Great Wolf and move up.
Uh, believe it or not, I'm going to use the Jarl in the front right now because that's already attacking. And I want to make sure that these guys survive. Yeah, I'm not worried about Quakes or anything like that, considering it would hurt his board more than mine, and I don't think he's even running them because a deck with Quakes is not running Keen Warden, which is a pretty weak creature. Turn one kind of play. But I have a pseudo Quake in my hand now. I have the double Frost Scale. I could have just gone for that last turn. Maybe I should have. Thing is, I think I can just, you know. Or no, did I? I think I drew that second frost scale after I played the Great Wolf. So I couldn't have played the two frost scales as a quake. Because if so, I probably should have just done that. So next turn. Probably just going to sacrifice for cards. Yeah. Late game growth is always a strong deck. There's a really cool game um, I had against, against Valentine. It was just a ranked game. Uh, but if you guys can go on scrolls, just go to the spectate and you can watch that. It was probably the coolest comeback I've ever had with Waking Growth. There's a Quake. I should probably just play the Quake, right? Quake would do a lot of damage. I'm just going to play the Quake. Okay. Um... I this Great Wolf's dead anyways to a veteran, so I'm just gonna protect the guys that are going to attack next. Maybe should have moved this Great Wolf down so that in case this guy gets better and the Great Wolf's there to kill him. Making some minor misplays this game, but just the sheer power of my units is bailing me out. Okay, we're on to match three. And let's go with. Let's go with. Um, he's playing growth. Because he, has, he's not, he hasn't played anything besides growth so far. So I think I'm going to go with growth as well. I mean, I think I'm going to go with. Uh, Mono Decay never does too bad against growth. I'm going to try Mono Decay. I like to play three different fra factions in a... Did I play three different? No, I played Decay the first time. But this is a different kind of Decay. He says last... Mm. I don't, I don't know if I disagree with Fra what Franconi just said. Oh, he plays energy. Well, hopefully it's not a structure energy deck, because then I'm kind of screwed. This starting hand is... Okay, it doesn't have a turn to play, unless he plays a hired smuggler. Um... Let's go ahead and mulligan. There's a lot of good starting hands I can get. This one, it's not really better. It's about the same. I don't think either thing I would have done there wouldn't have been a big deal, I don't think. I'll get rid of the curse monger here. I'm probably gonna go Brain Lice turn three and then Damage Curse turn four to be honest. And then go Oblivion Seeker Witch Doctor. Seeing this 
kind of scares me because that could be like a controlish deck, um, like structure energy or something with state machines, which Decay does not fare well against. But if it's like just energy with you know melee creatures, I should be able to do fine against that. Okay, maybe it's that. <laughs> Um, not gonna play that. I'll just play the brain lice on the Nagathor, I guess. So next turn, I'll damage curse the best creature he has. If not, I'll just play the Harvester. Maybe I should have played the uh, Brain Lice on the Gravelock Guard. It's just deciding which creature is stronger. I guess the three drop is gonna be inherently stronger than the two drop, even though this this pillage effect is annoying. This effect could make it deal a lot of damage if he sits back. Oh shoot my turn. I did everything. My bad. He should have said something. Obviously finished my turn. <laughs> so why don't you play a that four drop that has attack based on current energy. What's that called? Something Reaver? That would be a nice thing to damage curse. Echo on. Damage curse. I don't want to damage curse that. <laughs> yeah, that would does the same thing as burn, right? Where it would he would get the. Uh, I think he would get the energy if I damage curse that. So, I'm not gonna do that. I'll probably just play the harvester. He moves like that. Okay, Nuru is gonna go. Let's just play the Harvester. I'll just put it there. Seems fine. Next turn, I'm just gonna play the Oblivion Seeker. Just gonna have to ramp up here. His 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 board is not like super threatening. So just gonna tuck some resources, try to get a big attack in with that guy. No, okay. Ironclad or Reaver. That's a damage curse target. Not now. Soul Steel. Nah, he doesn't have anything to Soul Steel. Okay, let's just play Oblivion Seeker. At least I'm going to draw a card from this dying now. Unbind. So Languid Beat would be good. Or if he plays any enchantments. Probably next turn Witch Doctor. I kind of hope he doesn't kill this Woven Seeker, fearing I'm going to get cards. Maybe he wants to get the Pillage effect with the Gravelock card anyways to get this into burn range, and then I can play the Witch Doctor before this human's dead. That's the goal. Because otherwise, if he kills this, I might just have to damage curse this right now. Instead of playing the Witch Doctor, because I don't want to use the Witch Doctor as a, as a human shield for this Harvester. Okay, so he does he does elect to do that. Solemn Giant. He can make that attack next turn. Which is kinda scary. And that's in burn range now. Um I think I should keep the Oblivion Seeker. I hate getting rid of the Unbind, especially when I haven't played any language. But I think I should. Let's get rid of the Unbind. Okay, I'm in a Thunder Surge range, but I don't care. Not much to do about that. 
multiple things I want to damage curse on his board right now. Okay, so he can't potency burst now, or mount dispersal of the witch doctor, which is good. So I should be getting a husk out of this. Which the witch doctor should be surviving. He could burn the uh, harvester at any point, which is, is concerning. But I'm just gonna have to just you know, if he does that, it's one less removal that he could have played on my witch doctor or something. So I just have to keep playing big units. Okay, he's gonna go ahead and not even kill that. I guess he really doesn't want me drawing cards. Interesting. Um, I think I should just move up and keep the pressure on him. I could damage curse this, but what does that really do right now? I got rid of the Rot Eater. Easy burn target. Another Witch Doctor. Witch Doctor's nice. Do I just Damning Curse now? Problem is I don't really know what that really does. I think I'm just gonna move up. I could play the Witch Doctor down here. I'm just gonna play the Oblivion Seeker. Stop the stop all this idle damage. Maybe I should play the Witch Doctor, I don't know. He goes for six. Okay, now that's gonna die. Like, I, maybe I should have been able to put a Witch Doctor behind. He really doesn't want to kill those. <laughs> He's going to have to kill them eventually, that's the thing. Um, so now if I Damn and Curse, this would go down to one countdown. That's pretty tempting. But it wouldn't attack, so I can't really do that. If I had a Soul Steal right now, that would be pretty good. But alas, I do not. So I'm just gonna play the witch doctor. I think I think it's there's no use in really sacrificing for scrolls there. Maybe I should have. I don't really know. But there's no cards I really wanted to to draw. But that's better than a witch doctor here. Eh, I guess I'll move down because I'd rather. I want to be able to kill this Echomaton, so I'll move down. Might not be the best play putting the one health thing in front, but there's not a lot in Energy's deck that makes a difference between a one health unit and a two health unit. Like, Sparks Burns are still going to kill it. Thunder Surge, um, all that stuff still still works the same way. Okay, so now I just really want this Harvester to survive because I can use a Damage Curse to make it go off next turn. Now that I think about it, I probably should just sacrifice the Scrolls last turn. Because I want to keep this Oblivion Seeker and this Damage Curse. Not a huge deal, though. He only has three cards. He really needs a burn for that Harvester. Because he's not able to break through otherwise. Oh, actually, I didn't realize. If he, if he just had a... Uh, if he just had a... Um... Oh, crap. Oh no. <laughs> Turns out I did need that one health. Oh crap, that was bad. Okay, that is not what I was expecting. <laughs> I should have expected that actually considering he was, he was a melee energy deck. That was brutal. <laughs> well played Punisher, well played. Darn. Should have kept that two health in front. I may have been. Ah, eh, he would have still been able to destroy the route because of the. Um... Actually, I don't know if he would have. Okay, back to this. I think I'm gonna get rid of the Echo Maton now while I can. I'm gonna keep the removal in my hand. Let's go ahead and. Brain life, so that dies without him getting energy. 
Probably gonna damage curse that next turn. I'll just play the Oblivion Seeker right now. I don't want him to get like a a huge solemn giant thing in. Where he destroys, you know. A lot of things. Darn. That was quite I was not expecting the machination mindset. Was did not even cross my mind, and that is likely why I'm gonna lose this game. Don't know how I could really play it around. I guess I could have damn cursed the Solemn Giant earlier. Maybe I got a little greedy. Thought I was safe though. Facing some good opponents these these days. Clock library. Really? You're running clock library. Okay. Um Necrogeddon is kind of interesting. I kind of like that. I think I gotta get rid of that Solemn Giant now, though. Um, so I'm probably gonna be... I'm gonna go ahead and... Languid that. Let's see, if I, I wish I had... Actually, I wish I had an Unbind now. I really want the Unbind. I'm gonna go for scrolls for that reason. Unbind. No unbind. Languid on this too. Unbind. All right, whatever. I ran out of time for the unbinds. I'm going to stay up top because I want to keep my units alive for a possible Necrogeddon. Okay. I could have sleep Moratorium to try to find the Unbind. I don't think it's worth it. Is that going to be game? No. Alright. Whatever. Now... Now is where I need to get units on the board. Uh, I think I'm going to want to play the halls, though. Yeah, I'm going to play the halls. If I play the halls... I at least I think if I have if I'm gonna win this game I need to like really ramp up ahead of him. The only thing I'm sacrificed by not playing that halls is one Ilmar Tribesman. I mean, yeah, I could have played the brain lice, but I don't think that's gonna do much right now. Iron Ogre. Okay, so is there anything to soul steal? I don't think so. So in that case, I'll keep the harvester. There's a new rue. If I harvester Necrogeddon or tries a Necrogeddon, I can kill that. I don't think that's worth it though. I'm afraid of that guy attacking either way. I'm not not getting an attack off with the new rue. I don't think. I really need let's sleep moratorium see if I can get something I can I could go with the double brain lice I'm just gonna take the oblivion seeker I'm not loving this five three eight I'm gonna get rid of the brain lice. I think I have to get down units. And get down the new It's only one big unit. Sleep moratorium again. 
Uh, I'm gonna play it again. Let's see if I what I can do. Sleep Matorium. I'm just gonna. Right, I'm just gonna put down units. All right. Man, I think I had the lead in this game for sure before that machination mindset. It's too bad. If only. Um, not really. See what he can do. Magma thrower. He definitely runs stuff like Battle Dance, maybe Fury even. Okay, I've got to run Harvester. I'm going to have to keep the damning curse. So, problem is this Iron Ogre needs, yeah, I have to damn curse the Iron Ogre, I think. Problem is I would lose both Oblivion Seekers. Actually, wait, so if I Damning Curse, three things would die. Damning Curse, three things would die. That's tempting to make this thing attack. I'm gonna play the sleep moratorium, see if I can get a um maybe an unbind or something. Nope, but at least I got a new roo so I can uh so I can have a lot of resources here. Let's go for cards. I'll get rid of the life stealer. Ugh. Why aren't I getting what I need to draw? I think I have the damage curse. This is about to attack, and he's about to get a bunch of cards. Okay, screw it. Let's damage curse. Blight. All right, and then let's play this. Hmm. That was not the best. I really, really wish I could have made the uh, the harvesters go off. Probably should have played the Harvester and then the Damage Curse, but I was running out of time. Darn. When you really need that Soul Steal or or Unbind, you don't have it. And there's another Iron Ogre. I have a Damage Curse for it, though. I have a lot of, I have a lot of creatures. I think I'm gonna have to go with a Necrogun very soon. Okay, do I just Necrogun in now? Probably. I'll take that out. Yeah, I'm just gonna Necrogun in. Or actually, I can just Damning Curse the Ogre have this harvester attack. Yeah, I think I'm gonna gonna damn curse actually. So damn curse would be six. Then I can play something worth four and that's a lip a blight bear. So let's damn curse. So I'll kill this.
and then do I have two two drops? I don't think so. I'll just have to play the Blight Bear. Okay, let's hope he can't win. Somehow, I weirdly am okay right now in this game. I have a lot of cards and a lot of resources, so if he can't win in the next few turns, I might be okay. He easily could win, though. Like, a deck like his could have Copperados, Battle Dances, Furies. He obviously has shown his Iron Whip. He has Solemn Giants. And my idols are not doing too hot. Okay, is that going to be it? Okay, he does kill that. Okay, there's the Unbind at least. Um, I have to kill kill some stuff now. <laughs> Okay, I have to fill the board with units before I Necrogeddon. I mean, I could Necrogeddon. Should I just Necrogeddon now? If I Blight Bear or Necrogeddon, I can give you th the third poison and then take out these guys, but then he I just die if he does something to that idol. I think I should get rid of that guy while I can and just play more units. go with an unbind 7 and then I go with a and then I go with a 4 and a 4 Two f actually I'm going to go with a languid 2 unbinds ok I like that so let's go with the unbind on this Make sure that doesn't get an attack off. And now let's go with a Blight Bear there and a Tribesman there. Interesting. Don't win, please. He has a chance to win. The reason I put the more, more, uh, more bodies here to protect this idol is just because he has things attacking here. Okay, so does he, he can't win this turn at least. Wow, this is scary. <laughs> okay, so now I can go with a Necrogeddon. So a Necrogeddon would... I could kill that with a Necrogeddon. Can I kill everything with Necrogeddon? I think I can. But then I, I leave myself vulnerable if he has a... Um... I think I have to Necrogeddon now that I draw that. Yeah, let's just go ahead and Necrogeddon. <laughs> because I can Necrogeddon again if I need to. So let's go with the Rod Eater. I can go Unbind Necrogeddon. Unbind... Necro. Well, actually, if I just play the Rod Eater up here, it needs one attack. Do I unbind Necrogeddon? Or do I just play the Rod Eater Necrogeddon? I wish I could play both. Um, if I have Rod Eater Necrogeddon up here, um, I could have one thing hit that, then I lose if he has any removal. So I think I have to. Uh, I have to unbind Necrogeddon. At least this way. This way he needs to have something with haste. I think that's more likely than any removal because he hasn't played any burns. So I just need him to not be able to get four hasted attack. Can he do it? He has four cards and ten resources. I haven't seen him play any battle art. He cannot do it. Okay, 
Okay, now we have to get things on the board. Wow. Um, uh, six, three, two is 11, right? So I'm gonna get rid of the brain mice. Sleep Moratorium is nice, but I'm just gonna play, I think, these units anyways. So, six. Um. I guess this works. The thing is, anything I play is at risk. Like all three, all three of these idols are are scared right now. So it's very interesting how to position. I think I like having the witch doctor covering the. Actually, it's harder for him to get through the one with a human is because he can kill the witch doctor, and then it would have a straight shot. But he can't kill this and have a straight shot because then a husk would come. I think I have to save the necrogun to when I can win the game because it would. Yeah, I'm gonna save the necro. Go for cards. Blight seat is interesting. So I can go with the eight. Or I'll I'll just go, I think, new roof, tribesman. His board is not that threatening right now. I'm gonna go with the new roof. And the tribesmen. Keep these guys down here. Okay. It's probably not possible for him to win now. Because even if he does a solemn giant, um a solemn giant mach machinated mindset is not enough. Unless he like plays a machinated on it too. But he'd need the perfect cards and a power trip to do that. So this mono decay, like I took out loyal darklings, so it's gonna be harder to get a, a lethal necrogun off. So I'm really just gonna have to wait a few turns probably to ping these idols. Now that now that, now that the, one of the two newers I have in the deck is on the board, the sleep moratorium is less of a chance of like giving me a lot of resources to play with. Although I would like an unbind or damning curse, not really. I don't want to lose the health of my creatures. Yeah, I'm not going to necro get in right now because it would leave me vulnerable to a uh, sudden eruption and thunder surges. I don't think it runs thunder surge though. Blight seed. What to do? What to do? Harvester is probably going to be a play here. Should I just play the Harvester? Harvest Wish Star only costs 9, so I can get away with playing the Sleep Moratorium 2 and seeing what's up. Wow. Oh. I didn't realize that would be the case. <laughs> Whatever. I can just play the Harvester Witch Doctor. Almost attempting to separate these so I can get them both in Necrogun range, but I'm not going to risk it. So I'm going to move this up. I'll play a Witch Doctor here. Boy, Harvester in the back. Okay, I have a lot of health <laughs> protecting, <laughs> protecting those idols. Wow, this is a good game.
really hanging on by a thread. But I think he may have lost his chance to win. I shouldn't I shouldn't speak too soon, but I have just so much health there. And energy just needs to plow through. It's not like he has a loyal dark one he could just play. His win con is, you know, probably gonna be like maybe double ma triple machinated machination mindset on this ironclad reaver, but at that point, I don't even know if he has enough attack to get through here, because I have 16, he needs 18 here. He goes for that to get more cards. I guess it's good that I damaged this, because then it made it so it can't be iron whipped. Okay, so that was smart room to do, because I was about to uh, activate, but it uses his whole turn, and that's one less potency burst that he could have played on a witch doctor. And now I wish I had the Soul Steel again. <laughs> I keep like hanging on to like the Curse Monger instead of the Soul Steel. Whatever. Yeah, and I'm not gonna Necrogeddon unless I can win still. Which I can't unless he moves these guys out of the way. Not gonna keep both both blight seeds. Okay, so I can go with a uh, brain lice on binds kill something, or just brain lice this and it would die. So I'm gonna do that. And then I just play both curse mongers. I think I could play uh, blight seed on something to get myself more cards, but meh. I'm actually not going to deal damage to this. I'm going to deal damage to the idol to put that in Necrogarden range. And just. Yeah, and I'd rather keep a human in front there too. I could play a Blight Seed actually here. I'm going to play Blight Seed instead. I don't think he's gonna waste removal on this. Okay, so now because the blight seed's gonna give me more resources and cards, so I think that's pretty good. And if he wants to get rid of it, he has to use a potency burst or final dispersal on this curse monger, which would be pretty tough for him to do and not use it on one of these three. And now I have an unbind in hand, so he places a threat. I have some means of killing, even though I don't have an enchantment in my hand at the moment. I think I might have this. I'm really surprised I haven't seen like any big. He's probably like just trying to ramp up the cards and resources to pull off like a huge play to take me by surprise and win. So I think I have to just worry about that. All right, so he does run Thunder Surge. See, that's, <laughs> I'm glad I didn't like really, really bundle up with moving this guy around down here and all that stuff last turn. Is that game? So I just need two, two people hitting that, three people hitting that, and I need to play two units. Wait, do I need to play two units to win the game? Actually, I need to play three units. I can't actually win yet. I can't. That sucks. I need some. I need some smaller units, right? Yeah, I need three things. I have. I just have to deal idle damage here. Okay, so I'm probably gonna play. Let's get rid of it. one of the. Well, I'll get rid of the light bear. I think I'm gonna languid on buying that just just because I don't want I really don't want him to have you know units out there in case he has like machinated and stuff like that. If he's gonna win, he has to win with a uh, with 
Okay, so now let's kill this. And now I need to get help on these this, these two rows. So let's play this. Let's play that. I think that's good. Oh no, actually I lose now to a... Uh, do I lose? If he has a... I think I lose to a Solemn Giant Not Condition Mindset. Was that stupid? Because he just needs tw he needs 12 resources for that. That's six, and that's not, and it would be nine attack. I, I, that was, was that a crucial misplay? Did I just lose? Please don't have it. I think if he had it, he would have played it by now, but that, was that really a misplay, though? Because, yeah, I think it was. He only needed two cards to really do that. I should have not, I should not have moved my Witch Doctor down. It was hard to get all the health there once you play that Thunder Surge, though. Okay, well, if he doesn't win this turn, I should be able to win. Man. That, like, that could have been really bad, because he like, still could be bad if he's, if he's waiting. Okay. He had the Solemn Giant, too. He just didn't have the Machination Mindset. Oh wow, I I got lucky there. Okay, do I win yet? I just need one. It's I just need one unit here. I just need. I can't win yet. Darn. Okay, I need to get health. <laughs> health on the board. Probably shouldn't have loaded up this row and instead like separated damage to the idols. I kind of could have screwed myself over. Crap. So if I do a brainless unbind on the on this solemn giant, brainless unbind on the solemn giant would uh, would leave me at five resources. I could play the life stealer. Okay, then I'll go for cards. Okay, I'm just gonna go. Brain lice. Then I'll go unbind. And I'll play life stealer. And now I am. Let's see, how should I do this? So. Let's protect. I still am afraid of that. I should have moved. I should have moved this husk up. I think. At least now, I don't think he's in in range to win the game. Especially since he just played a Solemn Giant. It's less lucky that he has one now. If he plays Solemn Giant, if he plays Solemn Giant, Machinated Mindset, and Machinated, I would lose. Scared of that scared of that uh scared of this guy though because just like a double iron whip machinate he hasn't played machinated yet, but if I assume he has them. It could get to like fifteen attack and how much health is here? Five, eight, twelve, sixteen. Okay, so this should survive. Okay, he's getting units down, so probably probably buy himself time. Which is working. Oh. Okay. Let's get rid of the Oblivion Seeker. I think I'd rather have um, I'd rather have more health right now. Okay. So I'm just going to be attacking a lot of things now. Is there any way for me to kill this Solemn Giant? Uh, I just need to do a four, 
four attack. I'd have four attack in the back. Three attack, four attack, three attack would work. Okay, let's see how this works. Actually, screw it. I'm going to do it like this. Okay, that should be... Oh, I didn't move the... I didn't move that guy. <laughs> it would have connected my whole, my whole entire... My whole board, though, if I moved the, the rod eater up, so I'm not not too mad about that. I have to stay cautious. I already put myself in jeopardy one turn. It's still possible for him to win if he has the right right three or four cards. The fact that he's thinking right now before he sacrifices, or maybe he's just, just choosing what he wants to sacrifice. But this is gonna be a long video if I don't speed it up. So I think I'm gonna speed it up. And if you, you can use the gear to slow it down if you want, but I don't want to upload that video that's over an hour and all that. Oh, wow. What a game. That was a demoralizing defeat. Can't feel too good after that one. I, sh I think I would have had it if I on the bottom if I started dealing more idle damage. I just was afraid. Well, thanks for watching, everybody. That was a great game. And uh, see you next time.